This question is from Corey from Naples, Florida. Seth, did you teach yourself how to shred a guitar or did you receive guitar lessons? How long did it take for you to master the oh, instrument? Ooh. Make master. it your master. Master. Dang, gonna master. <laughs> master. <laughs> I, my dad got me started. He showed me like three chords and a scale and that was it. So my dad is a, uh, he could play anything with strings on it. Uh, so he got me started. I just kind of rolled with it, started learning songs. So I guess you could say I'm semi self-taught, but I definitely have not mastered it, but thank you. That's very kind. <laughs> I've heard, I don't know if this is true, but I've heard if you can play those three chords, I've been told you can play every Elvis song and every worship yes. song ever created. Oh. Is that accurate? <laughs> I, I think True. you need four for worship songs. You need the six and the four. Six for the yeah. but Not always. Not always. Not always. But or, or just it use, helps. Just it use helps. a capo so right. you can always play in G. There you go. <laughs> well, this is going to be a fun one. Selena from Austin, Texas wants to know how tall are the band members? Now, this is interesting because people always come up to me and they go, I thought you were going to be a lot taller than you are. <laughs> or they go, you're a lot taller than I thought you'd be. I, I've heard about it. Yeah. Like, I hear it all the time. People always say, so So this is going to be, we need to tell people how tall we are. Why don't we start with Corey? Because she is, um, what, what do they call it when you... Um, vertically challenged. She's vertically challenged. <laughs> but I make up for it. In yes, you do. This. You don't make up for anything. You're perfect the way you are. Thanks. I don't want you I like short. I like short. I'm short. I used to be 5'2", but I'm older, so I'm probably like 5'1 and 3'4". <laughs> she's, she's four foot five now. Well, I got so. big shoes. So. Yeah, you yeah. almost kicked me in the head. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Corey's tiny. She's the one people are like, you're so little because she's such a beast. She's like the Tasmanian devil on the stage who is also short. <laughs> you. I thought we were going shortest and tallest. Well, I thought we just mixed no. it up. <laughs> I like to mix it up <laughs> for, for Lou Brutus. I'm 6'1", and I'm so skinny. What's the... I always used to call me it. Gumby. <laughs> Gumby. <laughs> oh, oh, I know. Tall, skinny idiot. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> TSI, that's my nickname. Tall, skinny idiot. <laughs> Mad Hatter, or um, I don't know what I called you. I don't even remember. But I do know if we're, on, yeah. if we're playing on it. If you're at a skill show watching us on stage, <laughs> if Seth turns sideways, you won't see him. <laughs> He's too deep. That's the joke. Too I don't remember what I called you. I think it was Mad Hatter or somebody or. Mm. We'll just go with Gumby. I'll take it. <laughs> Gumby is good? Uh, okay, I am, I think I'm roughly 5'11". Does that sound about right? Yeah. I used to be a little taller myself. I was approaching six feet. <laughs> Almost made it. I used to be 5'11", three quarters. Now I feel like I'm probably 5'11", a good solid 5'11". <laughs> yeah. But my hair sticks up to six feet. <laughs> I'm five but my beard is weighing me down. <laughs> go, That's ahead. What it is. go ahead. I'm 5'7"-ish or something like that. Everyone always thinks... It says online that I'm 5'3", which confuses me a little. Does it really? Yeah, it does. Where online? Uh, I don't know. It was like on Wikipedia for a while. And it I thought like, that everything on Wikipedia was 100% Yeah, it definitely <laughs> I, this is, question this Wikipedia's is tearing me down. Yes, 5'7". <laughs> Man, this is really hurting. This is making me disillusioned. False information. You are 6'3". Sort of like when I read like that, that you know, Prince Harry and then they, they think that Spotify <laughs> should be warned about having... Uh, if Prince Harry thinks that I don't know what to think about my life anymore. <laughs> Bailey from Colorado Springs wants to know, how do you come up with all the songs and album names? I always find album names to be very difficult. And some people say, well, every album of skill, we have all these one titles. So like Collide, Comatose, Awake, Rise, Unleashed, Victorious, Dominion. Well and people are like, wow, do you guys plan that? No. <laughs> Unless you... <laughs> No. Unless no. you think it's genius, if you think it's genius, then yes, I did. <laughs> it just depends on how you take it. You know, it's just funny because sometimes you, you write songs, you basically just write what you're going through. I mean, don't you agree? Yeah, what you're seeing, what you're going through. Yeah, what you experience. Like this is something I see in the world or something that I'm going through. I want to write a song about it. I want to express something that I believe. And sometimes it comes out really good. Sometimes it comes out apparently really bad. As a songwriter, you always think it's good. And then uh, your label's like, no, that sucks. <laughs> Thank you. So anyway, it just kind of depends. And then when it comes to choosing album titles, I find that really difficult um, because you want to get something that sounds cool, but it need, does say I need to encapsulate what you are trying to say. So Dominion is one we in, in particular feel very, very excited about. Dominion was sound, it felt like the right name. Mm -hmm. We knew it from the beginning and we never, mm -hmm. we never second guessed it.